Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grant on the Rocks. Tonight's guest is Apollonia. She is a doctor at a hospital somewhere. She fixes people who are fucked up. Tonight, we are going to be having a martini. First, you're gonna need some gin, you're gonna need some vermouth, and you're gonna need some fucking olives. These olives are great. All right, so what you need is a, a mixing uh, apparatus thing, you fucking, whatever, fuck. And you put like this much ice in it. Five parts gin. Nice jigger. Thank you. And then, you wanna put one part of vermouth. Here's a pro tip for you. Pro tip. If you were James Bond, you would ask for this to be shaken, not stirred. But no, we need something to stir with. Bottle opener. <laughs> and then you want to get uh, two chilled glasses. It's gonna be a clear, water-like substance. Look at this shit coming right off the Rocky Mountains, man. Now what I just made here is a dirty martini because I spilled some of the olive juice. Always have a screwdriver on. It's a cute food hammer. So the only difference between a regular martini and a dirty martini is that you just kind of want to discolor it just a little bit. A little bit of a splash. Do what I can. I think this brings us to critique time. Quitty, 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 time. It's good. It's good. It's refreshing. Again, people, remember, cocktails are supposed to be refreshing. They're not supposed to just get you drunk. When you said dirty martini, it made me think of this porn that I watched recently. It was called Lust for Leather. Volume 1? Volume 2 is much better. I mean, I know sequels usually suck. Kind of like how DVDA is kind of mythical. Uh, in the porn world, I've yet to see it. But what I did see, which was also... Step into my office, Bonnie. <laughs> I need three more volunteers. <laughs> he went straight in. He, there was no curving around. Oh, so he just he rearranged just this guy's entire he, anatomy. He, he, I can only imagine that he rearranged his large intestine. Is it? And then he made the guy talk. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make an advanced version of this drink, you, you might want to coat the glass with a yeah, that's how I've always seen it, actually. That's the advanced version! <laughs> Damn it! Alright, we got a few martinis coming out of the factory line, guys. Indian health center right here. It's because you have to wait for so goddamn long. Granted, the one at 6 and 2 you don't have to wait that nearly as long as the one in Claremore. <laughs> Let's go to the box! What? Oh! Yeah. The pro tip makes me think of a porn star's dick. <laughs> and like the corona neck. It's wine. It makes me think that of makes, That's what I think of when I think of a fruit. Build your own patio. Do you know how to make your own uh, porn name? What was your first pet's name? Lamar. What's the name of the street that you grew up on? Oswego. Omar Oswego would be your porn name. Not Omar, Lamar. Mine would be Uno Phoenix. I had a really good one. Chihuahuas. Mine is yeah. BJ Hudson. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Mama Kitty Canton. <laughs> wow, that's, that's excellent. You want to stir this for me? You're <laughs> learning so why so aren't you watching so 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 this? So it's so 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 Dustin farted, and so I competitively farted and shit my pants. And I wasn't able to hug anybody goodbye, and I had to drive home standing up. Where did you drive home standing up? <laughs> and, uh, this is a great story ever. Grant, thank you for this dream. You're welcome. 
pie here. Cheers. Thank you for helping so many people as a doctor. Feel free to get the fuck out of my house, bitch!